Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it! <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well, as you can see, we're in what is commonly known as the Everyday Kitchen. That was amazing, wasn't it? Now this is going to be a very quick, straightforward lesson. This is a lesson, guys. This is a lesson for people who think they don't have time to cook. All of this is going to be real time. I'm probably not even going to cut the camera, okay? What struck this up is, I come home and I, and I cook real quick. Jesus Christ in the morning, why are you laughing at me? Let me mute that because people like to bother me while I'm doing videos. So, uh, I usually come home and I cook myself something to eat. Normally my wife works night shift, so I don't have to worry about her. But here for the past couple of weeks, she's been working uh, more day, uh, day shift uh, to take the plate. Anyway, long story uh, being longer. Anyway, she's on day shift right now, so she's at home at night and she wants to eat. She thinks that she doesn't have time to eat, uh, to cook anymore. She doesn't feel like cooking anymore. She's too tired to cook anymore. She, all these different excuses. And no offense to anyone out there who's tired and works. I know I've been there. I have an easy job now. But I still get tired, guys. Um, but there's no excuses to not cook. Let me show you how quick and easy we're going to do this. Let's turn the camera this way. That's a freezer. Okay, we have all kind of food up here in the freezer. Let's open it up. All kind of stuff in that freezer. What I'm gonna get is, not this for her. This right here, a pack of ham, solid as a rock, okay? Solid as a rock. All right, watch this. We're gonna stick this in the microwave. Four minutes. Now, what does that mean, guys? That means four minutes. We're going to have to sit here and do this in real time. I want you to see how quick and easy you can prepare a sort of a, a normal human meal. A normal meal. Now, for me, I'm going to be eating Pacific Cod. I think Pacific, yes. I'm going to be eating some cod and probably a piece of fish. Why? Because I don't eat junk anymore. I don't do it. So let me get me a piece of fish and chicken. Now this demonstration isn't about me and my food. This is about normal human consumption. This is about foods that most of you people out there are going to eat. Okay? Very simple, quick, easy to do. We're not going to cut this video. We're going to keep rolling with it. So, But I'm going to prepare my food in the meantime. And this is how fast I move regardless of if I'm trying to prove a point or not. I don't usually mess around. I get my stuff done and I'm ready to eat. Notice as well, my stuff is fresh out of the freezer as well. Solid as rock. Super easy stuff, guys. Look at this. Corn. The same for me. This is for my wife. I don't eat corn. Why? Because there's no nutritional value in corn. None. And by the way, corn is not a vegetable. It's a grain. Corn in a pan.
Okay? And we have instant potatoes. Super easy to do. Not only are instant potatoes quick and easy to do, but real potatoes are easy to do. You know what? You take a real potato, you stick it in a microwave for about three to six minutes, and you have a done potato. Make sure you flip it about every two or three minutes in the microwave, done. A real potato, or you can have real instant potatoes. It's still real potatoes. Don't let people freak you out. See this right here? Super simple, quick, easy. Take you some instant potatoes, dump them in a freaking bowl. She probably won't even eat that much, but I'm gonna give her that much. Maybe one, there we go, I have that to be enough for. About right there. That's probably a half a cup, three quarters of a cup. I don't know. Now I'm not gonna put any water in it just yet. And guess what? You don't have to boil water for potatoes. It's something that we've all been lied to all our whole lives. I don't have to boil no water and then add instant potatoes. You can do that. Put your potatoes in there, add some water, stick it in the microwave or in your pot, whatever you're doing. You ain't gotta warm up no water first. Oh, there's, there's the ham, guys. Let's check it. I might have to put it in there a smidgen longer. Let's turn her over. Two more minutes. Now you're probably thinking, Mike, you're gonna cook the ham in there if you don't put it on defrost. That's the idea. Something like that ham does not matter. Okay, we're not cooking, you know, $25, $100 steaks here. We're cooking a pack of ham. It don't matter if that ham gets fully cooked in the microwave. It don't even matter. It's probably fully cooked anyways. You're gonna stick it on the on the skillet over there and it's going to taste just like it had been sitting out and thawed and and uh, fresh cut off your pig okay everybody is so worried about unthawing things and making sure this is that and that you got to learn to think outside the box guys right now we are seven minutes and 25 seconds in the video and we're already we got corn over here going tick, 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 over here in the pan in the pot we're fixing to have some ham over here cooking in one minute, or should I say 56 seconds. We got the instant potatoes right here. Now again, this meal is not to show you what to eat. It's not to, uh, you know, this is the typical average everyday kitchen episode. This is come home, grab something out of the freezer, out the cupboard, out the fridge, boom, get it done. There's no excuses why you have to go out and grab something to eat and spend ten dollars twenty dollars because we all know everything's gone up in price i mean a big mac meal is like ten dollars um there's no reason to do that and plus even though these things are not extremely healthy they're gonna be healthier than that and you get leftovers if you want them there's gonna be enough ham in here that it'll last two days so that's all you need guys it's not a big deal we're at eight minutes and 32 seconds there we go. This ham, she's fully done. Look at that. All right. Now, I said I'm not gonna break away, so we're gonna cut this open right here. It's nothing, guys. I'm gonna turn the oven, we're gonna turn the eye on for this here. I'm gonna put that in this tub as a matter of fact. Look at that. Okay. Now these two here didn't fully unstick, so I'm gonna stick them back in the microwave for about a minute.
all the while. Mine's going right here. Looking good. No oils, no nothing. Cut up a pepper for mine. Probably an onion. It's real time, guys, real time. Here, let me sit this down. There it goes. Just popped right off. There's that. There's that. Oh, there's a couple now. Ooh, I might eat that. Look, all the ham, corn, super easy guys. Next step, pay attention because this is awesome, okay? Whoa camera, instant potatoes. Water. Two minutes, I'm gonna have instant potatoes done. We are at 13 minutes exactly. Now that's also me doing my own stuff. See what I mean? No excuses. Hope everybody's had a good Taco Tuesday. I know I've had a pretty decent day. I guess. Today is gonna be my chest day, so I'm gonna pump up a little bit of chest workout later. I'm gonna put this onion in my skillet. And I'm going to cut up this pepper for mine. I'm probably going to regret letting those potatoes go that long because they probably boiled over a little bit. That's my own fault. I'm going to put these peppers in mine. I pretty much eat the same things every day. And 
No reason to complicate your life. And just like that, it's good to go. And again, this is not sped up. I'm not acting crazy because I'm on camera. This is how I cook. This is how I move. Potatoes done perfectly. Ta da! Let's flip some ham. Technically, at 16 minutes and 58 seconds, my wife's food is done. That's how long it takes to come in here and go, bam, got you some food. That's it. That's all it takes, guys. And not only did I cook my wife's food, but I made my own as well. I'm going to put some baby spinach in my skillet. Add a little water to that ham. Burp a little bit. Let's take a look, guys. My wife's ham, corn, that's mine. Mashed potatoes. I mean, that's about as quick and easy as you're gonna get, okay? There's no excuses to be eating crap every day. But Mike, is this considered crap? No, this isn't considered crap. And by this, I mean what I'm, what my wife's going to be eating. No, that's not crap. Not compared to like a Big Mac or a Quarter Pounder or Arby's or something like that. And, you know, all the crap that comes along with that. And you're going to have fries, you're going to have a soda, you're going to have whatever. So... Um, this is all pretty decently healthy and it actually would fit into my diet if I wanted it, but I choose to eat what I'm eating. Um, I'm having to be, I'm having to be really picky of what I'm eating. I'm trying to lose weight, I'm trying to feel better and, uh, be healthier. So... So there you go guys. Let me show you. The quickest meal you can ever make. Look at that. And there you go. Let me give you one more shot of mine. Probably gonna make me a half a, or a quarter cup or half a cup of uh, some rice and put a little soy sauce in it, light soy sauce, 
Anyway, this is just a quick episode of the Everyday Kitchen to show you that you have no excuse, guys, to eat junk all the time. Go home, pull the stuff out of the freezer, throw it in the microwave, get it done, throw it on skillets and pots and pans, get stuff done, quit being lazy. These people out there don't care nothing about your health, they just want your money, okay? And everybody's complaining about service, how service sucks anymore. Everybody complains about the food all the time anymore, so get away from it, all right? Do your own stuff at home. Hope you enjoy this quick edition of the Everyday Kitchen and the message uh, the message that I tried to bring. All real time, no cuts, no nothing. Nothing. It's all straight to you, brother. All right? Check out the playlist. You're going to find all kind of good stuff in the playlist, including things like this. Like, share, subscribe, comment to Mikey Sun TV. And I hope you enjoy this episode of the Everyday Kitchen. My kung fu is still on point. Hiya! Guys, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. We'll see you next time. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it!